Good afternoon, we're here from Shutterfall. Um, today we're going to do a quick overview video of the new Marek Sabre. Um, these have just come in and we're going through QC at the moment. Um, they'll be available to Corban this week to send out. Um, we'll probably have a couple left over on the store as well, so keep an eye out for that. So this is how it's going to come in the box um, with the ring folded over. So you have three Allen keys. So your first thing you want to do is you'll have a screw here and then a screw here. I took this one out already to make it easier. Um, so you just want to unscrew it like this. Be easier if you get like an RC tool set or something like that. Um, so once that's done, you can open up. And on the opposite side, um, it's basically the same. So there's going to be a hole there and a hole there. And you just want to put the screws back in. Um, the reason we made it like this to open up with screws is uh, we wanted to make a fully removable core. So in the past, these ring savers have been an, an absolute pain to install. Um, we've, you know, having to undo here and here or try and take something out of the middle. It's just, we didn't want to do that. So we just wanted to, two screws, it's real solid, fully removable core, and sort of just be done with it. So once that's in there, that's your ring open. Um, you've got three activation buttons. So you've got front trigger here, and then the ones back here. So I think it was, you know, you're sort of going to hold it like this. Uh, front trigger might be activation for blade one, then auxiliary, and then activation two, auxiliary two. So, you know, makes sort of sense, you know, that's how you're sort of holding it. Um, so that's what we're thinking there. To get access to the blade um, and the sleeve, there's two holes, there's two set screws here. The first one is what pins the blade, or in this case, the blade plug. Um, so you want to undo that. And then the second one pins the sleeve. So again, to maintain the same consistency all the way through um, the hilt, we added this. So you got your blade plug, and then you've got the sleeve. So you pull the sleeve out, you pull the blade plug out, and then it's consistent all the way through um, for your chassis, you've got the hidden sound venting here. So what you would do is you'd put the chassis in, you put the blade, the sleeve in, so that just goes in here. It can only go down so far because it hits the little thing here. Um, and then the back screw is gonna pin the sleeve um, to make it not come out. So that pins that. And then the front one goes through the hole and that's gonna pin the blade, or in this case, the blade block. So that way, again, maintain fully removable core, but also you know, be able to put the blades in. Um, so it's the same on this end, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. Um, the chassis will be available um, on Shadowfall, and I believe Cormac will have one as well. Um, and it's just basically the, the screws on each side is what aligns it all and stops it from you know going too far. Uh, but that's about it. Um, you'll find other little Allen keys, that's just to tighten up these. So when you get them, um, I would just, you know, check, make sure that these little screws are all done up. Um, when I was going through them, a couple of them were loose. So again, just go through and just, you know, make sure these are all tightened up. Um, if you have any issues, let us know. Um, but yeah, they come out really, really well. Like we're really happy with these, just the, the color of them, the feel, it's like a matte sort of anodizing. Yeah, they, they, the shop just hit these out of the park. We're really, really, really happy with them. Um, that's it. So yeah, they'll be available um, on Shadowfall and they'll be shipping out to Corbanth for Corbanth customers. And uh, yeah, we hope you like them and we'll see you in the next one.